everybody, it's Warp Jester. Welcome back to another episode of Warp Jester Does SMP. Uh, today, I actually want to uh, uh, do a little uh, kind of mini series within the series, so to speak. Um, I'm actually be working with Tox, uh, ADDF Toxic, uh, helping him get set up with uh, uh, technology. He hasn't really had a chance to start digging into the mod pack at all, and he's not real familiar with a lot of stuff around here, so I told him that we could get together. And I uh, show him uh, show him a few of the basics and get him started. So uh, this is going to be the uh, first of uh, uh, hopefully quite a few episodes that I fondly refer to as teaching Tox Tech. <laughs> so uh, enjoy. Hey Tox, how's it going? Hey, good. How are you? Oh, don't bring up my friend. Been a while. Oh yes. <laughs> uh, just so you guys know, we've been. Uh, We've all been kind of doing our own thing for a little while here, kind of gone hiatus. I've been busy with uh, service stuff I've mentioned before, and Tox has been doing his Tox thing, so. <laughs> um, but we finally got a chance to get back together, and of course one of the things we wanted to do right from the beginning when Tox first got on board with us is actually do some collabs, and so we're finally getting a chance to do that here. And uh, Tox has uh, hey, been on the server for technically a while now and and you still have well how much automation do you have at your place now zip <laughs> <laughs> and by the way that, that does not mean a very fast it. well there you go so so yeah, automation is still a a a, 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 a hope and a dream <laughs> <laughs> so here's here's the deal guys today we're actually going to be uh working to uh try to help tox out a little bit so we're actually going to help him get set up in terms of uh Get a little automation going. Um, now, Tox lives out kind of south, uh, south of town here a little ways. It's actually kitty corner from the uh, tomb that we all got hammered in. Um, and every single time his little jet pack runs out, he's got to walk his butt all the way up to town just to uh, get charged. So we figure what we'll go ahead and do is start helping him get towards... Uh, uh, the goal of actually having his own power plan, his own stuff. So to do that... What's the most important thing to start with first is materials. And Han talks. how much materials do you have? Um, I have a chest of uh, assorted stuff that I'm not even sure what most of it does. <laughs> that is very confidence-inspiring right there. <laughs> so, long story short, we're going to go ahead and do a... Uh, we're going to start off our uh, a little mini mini series here of getting talks set up. And I figure what we'll go ahead and do, we're going to start off with, is we're going to get... Uh, Get a chance to know talks a little more and figure out what I do is I go ahead and uh, badge you with a few questions, get to know you a little better. And while we do that, I figure we go down to our mine down here that says she started and start hammering out some walls and uh, see if we can't uh, cause some damage and get you some good gear. All right. Fun plan. So we're going to head down here. Now, just so you guys know, for people who haven't seen it before and all the users and followers of talks here, uh, we, 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 you know, we, we we try to hold to the idea of if you want to do kind of do it do it alone, so to speak, or do it on your own, that's totally cool and that's up to you. Um, and Tox has expressed that interest in the past. Um, oh, I gotta check something real quick here. Um, that said, I did want to give Tox a few little gifts, if you will, to kind of help him out. I wonder, did, we had we had an issue not too long ago where we lost part of our um, ooh, um part of our shop. And I think we lost the, yep, boogers. We lost the, um, I actually had a, a rail cart that brought stuff up for us, which is no longer there. But that's not the deal. Oh, yes, I remember that. I, I was noticing that this nice little even hole that goes straight down for us, different floors, seems to have been missing. So that's bad news. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and, I guess I'll have to redo this again. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, so we, I want to give talks a few little little bits of love to kind of help get him going here because one of the, one of the important, most important things about Minecraft is uh, mining. Go figure. <laughs> so we wanted to get a chance to actually go down and do a little mining with them and help them get, kind of get some materials built up because especially with our mod pack, we are currently Greg Tech heavy and uh, as a result, there is a lot of minerals and resources you have to uh, you have to get just to make one stinking little item. So I figure instead of <laughs> instead of Tox just having to basically mooch off us, um, I would let him uh, actually kind of earn his own keep if he wanted to. And he said that's 
fine with them, so <laughs> we're gonna go that route. <laughs> so to Good help worms. him, <laughs> yes. What's oh. with this ruby that looks like stone? Ruby that looks like stone. What? Should I trust this thing? Uh, it's a block of stone. <laughs> Hello. I caught it as a ruby. I must have was somebody, ruby. Somebody caught it as it's a kinda, ruby. It's kind of hidden there. All yeah, right. I yeah. Catch it. Yeah. Sometimes if 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 you're hit, if you're hitting so, let me back up here for a minute. So to help Tox okay. out, to help make things go a little faster with his mining, we went ahead and we gave Tox a couple a couple of nifty little items to use and to have here. Uh, first things first is wonderful little hammers. Now these hammers are from Tinker's Construct. And the nice thing about the hammers, as you just saw on my screen, Tox, you can go ahead and just beat a wall real quick to show them. Is they actually build or dig a three by three hole. And rather quickly, depending on what kind of materials you make it out of. So that was, that was my one of my little gifts to him. Uh, secondly, before you get too far away, <laughs> <laughs> is uh, we also gave Tox uh, some uh, diggers and miners bags. Now, here's 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 the rub about these wonderful bags. Here is diggers bags are specifically designed to pick up all the cruft things like dirt, sand, cobblestone, etc. So those are all going to, by default, pour into those bags for you. Likewise, the miners' bags are going to pick up all the good stuff. So all of the iron, copper, gems, jewels, and whatnot, that's where the good stuff's going to go. So it's nice to have a set of these bags. Now, they come in two flavors, a 15-slot basic bag and a 45-slot woven bag. Those are going to be upgraded. These are all through Forestry Mod. Now, luckily for us, oh, yes. both Yankee and... Uh, uh, Argentum have gotten into bees, so we started to get a flow of uh, woven silk in. We can actually use to make better bags. And you'll see if you don't want to really have to do the process of making them yourself, RG is actually selling those. So if you have any IC token, you can actually mm -hmm. buy some. So, getting back to basics here. Um, I'm going to actually go up just a little bit here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to light up this channel a bit. Get up here a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just gets up off the, uh, out of the, uh, god awful, uh, uh, whatever that dark nastiness is. Anyways, um, oh, one other little nifty, uh, nifty item I had Tox grab is a Sojourner's Wand. This thing is a, a nice little item because you just right click on any surface and it'll stick a, a torch on it for you. Now, what's nice about this is I'll go ahead and do this out a little bit. Is I can go way down here. If you point your stick way down this hole here, you can see just how far away you can place a uh, torch. That right. Um doesn't work with stone torches, does it? No, sir. Yeah, it should it should already have stuff in it. Did you grab one that's empty? Um it doesn't have a the bar at the bottom. Yeah, grab an empty one. Oh. <laughs> hey, we're I still... suspected that meant it was full. Ah um, tox. Tox tox tox. <laughs> I'll go grab a full one. <laughs> so anyway, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and do a uh, a uh, run of um, mining here to kind of help get Tox uh, on track here. Now we're gonna be running in the uh, same mines that uh, Seshi began. I don't know if I ever showed you guys, but if you look at the map on here, uh, she is insane. And um, let's zoom out a little bit. There we go. So if you look at my map right here, you can see exactly how much she's done. Now, the thin lines are her from original, her original run, and then the thicker lines are from me using uh, my hammer. And, oh my dear god, I cannot hear myself because of the fapping. Hold on. Let's go ahead and... Options and sound. Got that way down there. There we go. God, I had my sound up to like 10. It was just like Slime City. Go fap somewhere else. Nobody wants to hear it. You found a piece of cobble. I am impressed. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. My keyboard must be getting louder or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, come back over to where... Uh-oh. They Ooh, lost. Gold. Wait. Uh, there's there's Tox. Hold on. Here, here I come, Tox. I, I really hate being down at this level just because of the uh, the hole... Um, darkness and hard to see things, but you know, not the end of the world. Uh, I I try to be. I, I'm very. I don't know what the term is. Uh, 
habitual when it comes to where I dig and how I dig. I like to keep things uniform. So if I ever got a row of stuff happening, I kind of want to keep with it. So if you come up, uh, can you see me from where you're at? Hi there. Hi. <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to continue on from the work we were doing down here. You can see the tunnels running down. And this oh, yeah. is... Yeah. Now, with the, with the hammers, you'll notice uh, the hammers don't take out, you know, gravel and things like that. So you're still going to need a, yeah, a shovel and alternate device for the moment here. But it's not the end of the world. Um, yeah, shovels. Get out of the way. Silly blocks. As you see here, I've started digging across and through things in the past, so... Woo! <laughs> um, so, anyways, sorry, we're going to go ahead and get some things dug out here, and like I said, I'm going to quiz you a little bit, talks, and get to know you a little okay. more, and uh, we'll see I'll what we can find here. Also, yeah, one other thing that's really nice to know, I forgot to tell you about the backpacks here. The backpacks okay. have three modes we talked about. Now, the three modes are up arrow, down arrow, and locked. Locked is pretty self-explanatory. A locked bag means it's not going to pick up anything. So as stuff gets put into your inventory, just in your inventory, does not pick up by the bag. With the up arrow um, and the down arrow, it's going to actually provide some function. So with the down arrow, there's actually two things that are really nice about these bags. If you put, say for example, uh, I'm going to put some uh, cobble in my hot bar here, right, right here. Because I have a bag with cobblestone in it, Every time I use cobble, it's going to automatically refill that stack for me. So I've got one stack of cobble in my inventory, and I'll constantly be refilled automatically back to 64 every time I've used it. Hmm. Likewise, I think I need a hammer. to unload these bags, make them a little quicker, if you shift and right-click a chest when the down arrow is displayed on the bags, it uh -huh. will dump everything out of the bags into the chest. So Sandy. easy unload. Likewise, if you have the up arrow on the bags, they'll pull everything out of a chest. So if you need to move stuff quickly, great way to do it. It's also great when you have a, 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 a chest of random crap. You can click on it with the up arrow digger's bag, pull the cruft out of that chest, leave all the good stuff behind, come back through, grab your Myers bag, do the same thing, and so on. So anyways, that's that's the uh, the basics here. I'm gonna If you look at your little... Uh, uh, mini map, you can see where we've kind of dug in the past here. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is we'll get set up here. I've already got one tunnel started right here. Uh, what I do okay. is from the main tunnel here, I just count over two spaces. So, one, okay. two, then, well, technically four, I guess. But the idea is you're going to leave a two block gap because you can see the rest is here. That way we yeah. can easily see and make sure we're catching every, all the good stuff. Yeah. And we'll go right. ahead and go there. Makes oh, sense. look, big giant slime. Hi there. You're dead. Yeah. And you're it's dead, and you're dead, and you're dead, and you're dead. Oh my god, they're fapping everywhere. Ah! Me. Ah! I'm being overwhelmed! I'm digging holes in the ground trying to hit these things. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Die, 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 die. There we go. Uh, All right! <laughs> Hey, we've already burned half our time here already. <laughs> all right, so let's go. Let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, all right, Doc, you ready? Ready, ready to be it. put on the hot seat? I guess. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. Sure. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> another thing to remember, I forgot about that coin of fortune I gave you, Tox. Oh yeah. Uh, put it in your inventory and then shift uh, right or just uh, right click it. From just in the inventory? Yeah, just hit click on the inventory. You'll see a little line go around it. You'll start getting a little tinkly tinkle sound. Oh, yeah, okay. That'll help you pick up everything. It makes it a little easier when you pick up stuff. Can I put it in the in the main part of my inventory now? Yes, you can. Okay. All right, so my friend, first things first and most importantly, do you like Minecraft? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. I want to have you be a poser or something. So I noticed on your channel you do have a lot of other games you play. Uh, when you first thought about doing YouTube, was it uh, like, hey, I'm playing Minecraft, let's play YouTube? Or was it, hey, I'm going to no. do YouTube and then Minecraft came later? How did that all work out for Originally, you? Originally, I had a YouTube channel just to do generic YouTube things. Um, Riding uh, shopping carts down hills? 
Yeah, or just a... Well, I can't remember what kind of videos I watched back then, but I think it was just so I could have a YouTube channel, see what it's... see what that's all about and all that. Gotcha. And, and then I started watching Ruark, and then I decided to get into Minecraft myself. Wait, so Ruark's to blame for you getting into Minecraft? Oh, yeah. Man, you attended Minecraft. right from the get-go. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> okay. So from there, uh, you got into Minecraft because we watched Ruark on TV. Uh, no, my computer. I didn't have a Chromecast at the time. Ah, sim sim. Digital whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so you actually saw Ruark on, uh, I'm, I'm assuming other thing, other people too, but you saw Minecraft through YouTube and that's how you got introduced to it? Oh, yeah. Very cool. I, I, that's interesting. I don't think I was watching anybody except for Ruark when I, when I actually got into Minecraft. Really? I'm going to do well there. Now, did you know Ruark before uh, this, or did you find him through yes. YouTube? I knew him before. Oh, okay. So you guys were actually uh, neighbors, friends, something of the nature? Yeah. It's something of the nature. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's very cool. So you end up... Uh, and they're watching YouTube, and Minecraft, and then from there, it kind of went haywire. Now I noticed <laughs> I, when I when I when I actually discovered you, I actually found you through Rock. Oddly enough, yeah. um, when I found you, you were doing uh, vanilla Minecraft uh, at the time it was my hill. Yep. And then you just recently, or more recently, started uh, what's the other one again? Sun Sunland. Sunland. That's right. Where'd you Where'd you come up with these names? I've been curious. Um, my hill was, uh, um, I just found a diamond. Yay. Woo. <laughs> I remember the uh, got my fortune. Hill was, uh, yeah. The name my hill came from the fact that I, I built my base kind of in a hill. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's and, pretty straightforward. Yeah. I just needed a name and that's, that's what came to mind because I was in a hill. And okay. Sunland, I wanted to wanted to get a name right away, and uh, there were a bunch of sunflowers everywhere, so I that's where that came from. Gotcha. Okay, so it's definitely you started out doing the uh, the single player thing. Now, did you just jump right into I'm going to play Minecraft, you know, a la solo, and do recording, or did you kind of play around Minecraft? Did you do any server play, or is it just you kind of horse around by yourself? Uh, it was just me horsing around by myself. My hill was actually uh, my first world, my first Minecraft world. Okay, the so first main one that I had, I think I had the demo world, and I had a couple others that I deleted because I didn't really like. Um, and then, and then I stuck with my hill for a while, and then I started recording my hill. So pretty much people who have been following you from the get-go pretty much kind of seen you almost from the start of your uh, your Minecraft career, so to speak. Yeah. Very cool. Except they didn't see me uh, learning how to do some of the most basic things. Was it as painful as Redstone? I bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I beds didn't are kind of important. Redstone back then. <laughs> Well, very cool. Now I know from how long? How long ago was that? Good question. <laughs> I, I try to ask the tough ones, man. Yeah. That tor oh, sorry. Oi, oi, <laughs> man. Oi. You get you get grumpy about those questions. <laughs> okay, we do not want to uh, mess with the lava that's over here. Sure, we do. Just fill it in. One, two, Somebody kind two, of blocked three. it off. I see. That's usually what I end up doing. I never, I never try to choice something unless I don't need it. Like water, I don't need lava. I tend to keep around just in case. Yeah, that's, that's what I tend to do too. I never I know it's gonna line up in our minds or not. So you've been playing Minecraft for what? A day, a year, a month? Um, when I started uh, my hell, you mean? Or wait, when I started recording? When you started Minecraft. 
How long ago I'm, was that? I'm. Oh, how long ago did I start playing Minecraft? Okay, um. I think it was. 2012, late 2012, that I started playing. Okay. Gotcha. So you, you haven't been. You're not old, happy, or not new school. You're kind of that little happy median. So, so 2012, that would be. Was that after release? I'm, I'm having a hard time remembering now. Uh, release, yeah. It was uh, 147, I think, was the version I was using. Okay. Yeah, so I, it, uh, forgive me, guys. I, I, I first discovered Minecraft way back when it was that little, hey, you heard about this game? And I grabbed it and tried it out because I had it on, you know, quote-unquote, on sales, like nine bucks or something to grab an account. And uh, I tried it in a little bit and played a little bit and went, yeah, okay, this is kind of interesting. You know, this this is back when zombies dropped feathers and other kinds of quirkiness. Um, I'd forgotten about that. <laughs> I, so I, I, I find this kind of funny because it, it kind of felt like you you had been around for a little while, even though you still had some of the stuff like Redstone you weren't real familiar with. Um, but by the time I uh, talked with you and, and invited you to join the server, it seemed like you'd been playing this for a little bit, a little while. Which I guess it would technically be. Let's see, you came on board. What end of twenty thirteen? Think it was. Uh, I think it was early twenty fourteen. Okay, so you, you had you had a good better than a year under your belt of vanilla. Because the end of twenty thirteen, you were still uh, yelling at me for uh, taking a holiday in the comment section. <laughs> Hey man, you know, I want to watch videos. I want to watch videos. You know, I want to wait for you to come back from having downtime. <laughs> Creeper, oh. I help you mine. See, this whole server is very kind. We we help here. So just so you guys know, everything everything I'm picking up here is going to be donated to the uh, Toxin is a freaking way to charge his backpack fund. <laughs> Now the hammers, the hammers are taking a little bit of getting used to, but after, over over time you'll figure out how best to utilize them in terms of getting all the goods. And these hammers are um, hammers are fun. They're at, I've I've added a bunch of redstone, which speeds up, gives them haste, as well as uh, lapis. We max out the lapis at four fifty, and that gives you a fortune. See, we got fortune three here. Now these hammers will refine themselves over time, and uh, the the real critical thing here, Tox, is you want to keep a close eye on the uh, um, durability of these things. Because what we're going to do is we're going to get them down real, real, real low. And as I told you before, Ardite is one of those materials that has a unique value called Stonebound. And Stonebound is basically whenever there's a tool that starts to wear down, if it's like a pickaxe or a hammer in this case, it actually mines faster. So we're actually wearing Correct. these hammers down to make them mine faster. And then since we're still running in Minecraft 1.5, we're actually going to use a little bit of a cheat, and that cheat is one of the add-ons you can actually plug into this is a circuit and a battery, which is basically industrial craft uh, adding power to this. So instead of them being uh, durability that wears down and you have to repair using Iridite, you'll now be able to charge them. Now, the, the, the cheat here is that 1.5 is bugged, and since it's been sunset, it's not going to get fixed. And that bug basically is... Uh, that it will not uh, need charging ever. So once you get down low on uh, durability, you add that circuit, which basically locks in that speed, and then you never have to worry about uh, charging it because it's broken, basically. Warped's making me cheat. Hmm? Warped is making me cheat. Hey, I'm not making you cheat. <laughs> I'm just giving you the same equal value and opportunity that we all have. Because <laughs> we cheat. <laughs> We, we chew like nobody's business. <laughs> it's so confusing where to find a... Where to put the next... I think Yankee's AFK. You think? <gasps> oh! I think he fell asleep again. <laughs> oh, poor Yankee. Oh, crap. Well, luckily he's got a tombstone. <laughs> All right, two over there, you're going to do two over here, so you want to do one, two, stuff. three, four. So that's going to be this dig in right here. What's this? What should be? Why? Basically, this would be the wall right here. So 
Okay. I always do the one, two, three, four, and hit in the center of that, so that'd be right here. So the problem is when you get stuff like this, you kind of have to do a little yeah. screwball to get to work right. <laughs> All right. Well, there we go, my friends. That That is a little bit of a... So just a little bit of a uh, how do you do it with uh, talks here. Now, as I said, we are going to be doing um, kind of a I don't know, really a mini series, is a proper term for it. But we are going to spend some time uh, helping talks get the materials he needs here, and then also helping him set up uh, the basics for industrial craft. It's probably going to be the best way. Now, he's actually, uh, I'll say, got more interest. I'll say in a lot of the uh, build craft based uh, power systems so like uh, thermal expansion and rail craft those kind of things he's actually more curious than that because of the pulverizers and whatnot which is fine but i figure for the simplicity of things since he has an industrial craft jet pack what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get the basics set up for him running some simple generators that run like coal fire generators so he has the ability to charge his jet pack up and then from there we'll that'll either give him the basis to start uh or doubling and getting him up and running to start building bigger and better. And at that point, he can go ahead and make the call to build out infrastructure for a build craft based power system or do the energy converter model we have, which will convert one type of power to another with minimal loss or cost. So lots of options there. But for now, we're kind of running along the time here. So I'm going to go ahead and say, I appreciate it. Talks, I'll catch you next time and we'll uh, finish up mining here and then get you started on uh, the builds. All right. All right. Cool beans. Catch you guys soon. Take it easy. Have a good life.